In this video, I will show you how to connect a gamepad controller to a computer and play with the controller on any game. You can use any controller because this method is relevant for controllers of different brands. First we need to connect the controller to the computer. This can be done via USB or Bluetooth. It depends on which controller you bought. After that, you need to go to the search on the computer. Enter a name, control panel. After that, switch to large icons. And there you need to select devices and printers. Under devices and printers you should have an icon for your controller. If you don't have it there, then you've connected it to your computer incorrectly. Or your controller is not working. After that, we need to download the X360CE program from the official website. It is needed in order for the controller to work in the game. You need to download for all games. After that, open the archive that we downloaded and open the system drive, where Windows is installed. Open the program files folder. In this folder, create a new folder called x360ce. And in the created folder we copy the x360ce program from the archive, which we downloaded from the official site. After that, close the archive and run the program. If it does not start for you, then start it through the administrator. After starting the program, you need to go to the Issues section. If here you need to install additional drivers for the program to work, then you need to install them or create them through this Issues section. If everything is fine, then nothing needs to be installed. After that, you need to go to the Controller 1 section. Here you need to click on the Add button to add the controller that we connected to the computer. But if you have something in this section, then you need to delete it. And only after that add a new one. Because if you add to the existing ones then your controller might not work. Therefore, we first remove the old and then add the new. After clicking on the add button, you need to remove the check marks from unnecessary devices. You only need to check the box for the USB or Bluetooth controller. After that, you need to click add and enable our controller. If you press the buttons, you will see that it works. After that, we minimize the open controller program and launch any game. After starting the game, the controller will work. You can play with a controller and with a keyboard and mouse. They will switch automatically when the button is pressed. But if your controller still does not work in the game, then you need to copy it to the game you are playing. To do this, you need to download the controller, depending on the version of the game. If the game only works on 64-bit and it was released before 2018, then you need to download this version of the program. If the game was released after 2018, then you need to download the 2020 version of the program. After that, open the game folder and open the archive that we downloaded. Copy the file from the x360CE archive to the game folder. After that, close the archive and run the program that we copied to the game folder. If it does not start for you, then start it through the administrator. After that, as well as at the beginning, we configure it. After setting up, you can run the game and it will work with the controller. That's all, if you liked the video, then like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you all for watching.